Today, we're going to be looking at an app called Fotar, and it is an all-in-one tool that does images, slides, videos. It has a massive number of features that are available to you so you can make your images better and you can take them to the next level. To start off, you can go to their website, fotor.com, or you can download their app uh, available on Android, iOS. They also have a Mac app. They're kind of everywhere and they've been around for a very long time and they have expanded into the AI world. So let's start off with AI image generator, some of the ones that I have tried already. And you can actually see the prompt, a moose in New York City. Uh, we also have this one here, uh, which is a moose standing in the middle of Times Square. Aliens helping humans build the pyramids. What makes Photo really cool is they have aspect ratio, so we can decide the aspect ratio we want it to be in. Uh, we can decide how many images we're going to make, and it has this little leaf sign, so you can see I have 285 in the top right, uh, and those are the credits. So we can see that. And on the left here, we can actually scroll through all these different styles. We can pick a style, so maybe we want a black and white tattoo, or we want something psychedelic. It has all these preset styles for you, so it makes it easier to generate. Here is our picture of aliens helping build the pyramids. We're going to try it again, but this time around with the Polaroid style, just to see how that one comes out. And uh, yeah, aliens helping humans build the pyramids. Uh, what's cool is you can actually click in and we can remix so we can rebuild this again, but we can also edit. So if we hit edit, we have an AI upscaler, AI expand, AI replace, magic eraser, background remover, and these tools are really, really cool. So we're going to try the expander and you can see, okay, maybe we don't want to expand up on the sky too much. We don't care about the camera, maybe a little bit down. And now we can say generate. So poof, you can see this is our new image. We have more people, more pyramids. You can see two different styles of the same image expanded. You can say generate more and it's going to generate more styles. So now we have two more styles of the same image all expanded out. Okay, so this time around, we're going to use the AI generated image of my wife that tends to appear in all of these videos. And we can drag or drop like this. Uh, there's also uh, options on the right where we can select the exact pixels we want. But we're going to hit generate and we're going to see how it expands my wave going downwards. And there is the uh, expanded version of Dana's AI image going downwards. So it is pretty wicked that we were able to do this. It has more AI tools on the left that you can see. So we can upscale. So using the AI upscaler, you can see the before, it looks pretty good. But when you pan over the after, you can actually see how it smooths out the image. So uh, we can hit apply and we're back in this screen here with more AI tools. And you can see as we scroll down, there are tons of these little AI tools that we can use. Something else the image generator can do is image to image. Uh, so we have image to image selected this time around, and we can again select our style that we want it to be in. So we're going to pick uh, this Christmas style here, and we're going to hit generate. So this is the output of what we got. You can see the image here, and we can see that one there. Uh, it has the eyes, the general aesthetics, but it doesn't look exactly like her. Okay, so this one's a lot better. <laughs> this is the AI Dana, but with the Grand Theft Auto filter. So you can see it looks like her, the hair, they changed the hair color a little bit, but it looks pretty spectacular. And of course you can always edit this to make it better. So we can replace, we can expand, or we can just say edit this photo, and we come back to this entire editing screen, and it has all kinds of stuff. So again, lots and lots of AI tools to allow you to edit your photos. So what's new? It seems like there's so much new stuff and it's a lot of AI stuff, uh, but this AI kissing and hugging video. So if we hit try it now, it's going to bring us to their AI video generator. So we can actually upload an image and then we're going to add a second image, which is me. And we're going to 
pick the kissing one and let's try no story. Let's just click generate. So the generation for the videos does take a few minutes, no longer or shorter than any of the others like Minimax or Kling AI. Uh, but while we're waiting, I just want to show you some of the other ones I've generated. So this is a moose walking through New York City. And we also have a panda which is surfing on a surfboard in the middle of the ocean. Okay, so here are our two images. Uh, and it's my AI self and my wife as AI. And here they are attempting to kiss from two different photos. Um, it's pretty decent all considering what they're trying to do. And you can see the background kind of like merges into one. Uh, not, not the best, but still pretty cool. So I did it again with another picture just to show you that it does work better if you change the photo. So you can see the kiss works a lot better and we do merge together. And then they also have this hugging one where I tried that and that one works really, really well. This is really cool. Okay, so this time around, I picked game art style 720p and we're going to generate a eight second clip, uh, which is a lot longer than the four seconds we just did prior. So this one's gonna take about seven minutes. This time around, we have the game art style with her with no prompt. And I think that might be the problem. I'm not really giving it a prompt of what to do. So let's try one more uh, and make sure we give it a prompt. So I want to try it again, another eight second clip, but with a prompt so you can see her dancing and it looks fantastic. Like the quality is phenomenal on this. And it looks exactly like the image that we put in to begin with. Uh, and then here's another version of it. Uh, where, again, she just kind of like moving off screen. Uh, it looks really smooth. So I think giving it a prompt does make it look substantially better. You can see we have illustration art uh, with for a four second clip with the prompt eating a burrito and it does look a lot better. Uh, there is also this stuff here so we can enhance the video. Okay, so you can see side by side, uh, this is using their video enhancer. Uh, we can hit play here. Uh, you can see the right side does look better. It's less blurry. It's more clear. Uh, so kind of cool that you can enhance your videos as well. There's also an AI hair style changer. So we can say like bald and we can generate AI Dana bald. So there is AI Dana bald <laughs> because why not? Uh, what would she look like with an afro? And this time around, we have a choice between black and brown. Uh, so we'll say black haired Afro, and it is detecting the hairstyle and it is designing Dana with an Afro. So there is AI Dana with a black Afro. Uh, let's try one more. So there's AI Dana with long curly blonde hair. On their main website, you have image, you have video, and you also have slides. Uh, let me show you the slides real quick. So we can actually write a presentation topic here, uh, the impact of artificial intelligence on YouTube. So now we can hit generate and it is literally creating a slideshow presentation for us. Okay, so you can see our slideshow being created now in real time. Okay, so it is done and we have a 19 slide presentation about AI and YouTube, so but channels using it and algorithm recommendations and so on and so forth. Uh, with one click, we can change the whole theme of our entire slideshow. Uh, and then we can, of course, go through and make modifications. Uh, we can add elements. Uh, we can adjust layouts. It's very similar to Canva. If you're familiar with that, you'll enjoy this. But again, within like one click, we have this whole template that we can use. Uh, that talks about the benefits for creators and viewers. So I want to show you a couple of other video tools that they have available. Uh, there's this one where you can upload a portrait and then you can make portrait do these other things on the right. Uh, so maybe we want her to whistle uh, and it has audio. Um, so we're just going to hit generate and then I'll show you the final product with audio. <laughs> <laughs> All right, pretty cool. And you can even upload your own videos so you can have like a video you want it to mimic with the original image you want to mimic that video. 
So there are a ton of AI tools that you can use on Fotor, and it's really cool. I want to talk a bit about the credit system, which is kind of neat. So they have this whole get rewards thing where you can actually claim free daily credits just by logging in. Uh, you also get credits by posting to the community. They have a tab called community and you have your own profile so you can actually post your stuff. And as you post, you're going to get these coins and these coins can be uh, withdrew as cash or as more credit. So it's kind of like a whole community where it just cycles through and the better and the more you participate, the more you can generate. Uh, the trending is pretty cool. You can actually see what people have created. And if you click in on any of them, you can actually click, you can see the prompt that they use, the style, the image ratio. Uh, if they used an image to start, we can quickly remix the image. Uh, and it is pretty cool, all the stuff you can do. So say like planets in space, you can actually see it. And this prompt is hidden because it was submitted for a challenge. So they have all these little challenges going on uh, for people to earn uh, folder credits. Uh, I love looking at the AI video section just to see the stuff that people have been able to come up with and create. So we're just kind of scrolling through so you can see these mice that are having a drink uh, and just enjoying the holidays. This one's like a zoom in on a snow globe. We have a robot serving people dinner, but then the robot becomes a human and the background becomes all TVs. That's kind of neat. We have mice singing, a fish in a jar. This one is absolutely wild. It is Santa Claus painting reindeer, which come to life. The last thing I want to show you is the plans and pricing. So they have a free plan where you can like dabble around and try stuff. Uh, they have a pro plan, which gives you a little bit more, and then a pro plus plan, which gives you the most. Uh, the big one is, is the number of credits per month you get, 100 versus 300. Uh, and I know $25 a month is a lot, but if you go to the yearly plan, it works out to $9 a month, uh, which is pretty decent for the number of tools that you're getting access to. It's like truly an all-in-one uh, Photoshop replacement that can edit your image any which way you want. Uh, they also have credit plans if you prefer to buy credits as like a one-time payment. I hope you enjoyed this video and make sure to check out Fodor if you are interested in all their AI tools. Like I said, it is a really cool tool with like everything all in one. And I think the value for what you're paying is pretty solid. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to leave a like on the video, drop a comment down below. Let me know what your favorite tool is that they offer. Uh, there is a lot and definitely do subscribe for more AI content. Uh, because you're telling the algorithm that, hey, I watched this video to the end and I really like it. I want to see more of it and more people should see more of it. So that helps me. It helps you. It kind of helps everyone. And if you are interested in AI content, don't forget to check out franklina.com, which I cover AI news, AI tools with no ads or anything like that. It's just a nice, clean platform where you can catch up on everything AI. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one. Subscribe to Franklin, join the ride in this journey side by side.